Welcome to today's 3D print. Halloween's coming. Do you need a mask? Ken Cam on Thingiverse has a cool one. It's called the Evil Skull Mask, and it doesn't require any supports. I printed this in about 36 hours. Ready for this? This is cool. <laughs> I'm coming for your 3D printers. <laughs> Check that out. I printed this on the TiVo Tornado. This printed with Sunlu PLA Plus in green, and it came out amazing. Look at some of the fine detail on that. That's with the TL smoothers installed, of course. You get the little imperfections here and there. You see the little line variations. These are all seeing on the nose cones as well, but for something like this, you don't even notice it. The only issues I had was a little bit of issue right there, but that's on the inside, it doesn't matter. Here's something else really cool, too. My little brother wants two of these. <laughs> these are so cool, he wants to hang them up on his wall because these shapes here, the mandibla, mandala, the part of the jaw right there, well, it just so happens that they're at exactly the right position that this will sit on a wall, just like that. So you put a little nail on the back there, and you can hang this bug around the wall, and that'll look pretty darn cool. And that'll be sitting there on the wall like that. He wants it in his green, too. <laughs> and he wants one in Decepticon purple. But um, I told him, man, you buy the film, and I'll make them for you. So I'll teach him how to slice it, and then I'll show him how to make it so that he can start making his own stuff. Might as well teach him, right? So I got some of the printers moved into the other room, so hopefully the video comes out a little better. Eventually, I will put up a styrofoam barricade between this table and the rest of the room so that I can have the printers going without that high-pitched whine driving everybody crazy in the videos. I didn't realize how bad that whine was until I played it back. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's, that's a pretty generous whine that you're going on there. But the Tivo Tornado was in the other room, and that was a loud one. So, But there you go. The teeth came up great. comfortable on the face. I was surprised by that. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, it's got these two points right here where you can attach a strap so that you could easily mount this to your face. And it fits my gigantic head perfectly. It just touches the sides of my cheek right here. Absolutely perfect. The only thing I would do is um, um, put a little piece of foam right here for your nose so if it whacks something it doesn't you know, ding up your nose. Otherwise it's nice and smooth. Good view. I mean, that's a usable mask. I'm impressed. That is pretty darn cool. So, if you want to get yourself a cool one of these, just go, I'll have a link down below. Don't forget to check the description of my videos, the links to the STL files, the filament, etc. Um, anything, any detail you need about this will be in the description below. So don't forget, you can actually open up that description and see all these details. My printer profiles are there. So that you can download my tornado profile, download this SCL file. I believe I used 15% grid in, yes, 15% grid infill. Um, I just wanted it to be a little sturdier. I think that was overkill. I probably could have done this thing empty. I got three perimeters on this. So in Cura, that would be 1.2 millimeter wall thickness. And of course, there's an inside and outside wall. So this thing is really strong. You're not going to break this. I mean, you'd have to whack it against something to break this. Very impressive. Um, the one little tendency the tornado has is splooge. So it'll retract, move, nothing coming out, but then while it's in transit, a little bit of plastic will come out, and that'll tend to get caught when it gets to the next side to do the next island. But those just scrape off. You can just take your fingernail and just scrape them right off. Uh, very clean print. Here's the inside. I am very impressed. Very smooth finish. This PLA is wonderful. I had problems with this PLA at first. I was afraid. I was like, oh no, it's another weak layer bonding because it's got that silky like look to it. Not as silky as the 3D Solutech Ultra PLA, but still it has that silky look. Just printed at 240 degrees Celsius. Print this at 240 degrees Celsius and it's plenty strong. You're not going to have a problem with this at all. A um, little sneak peek. Here I'll show you the samples that I got off the CR10S since I haven't shown you those yet in high detail. Here's the little Marvin.
from the CR-10S. This is with the Zyro Twinkling Black. Benji. Perfect. I mean, it's, it's CR-10 perfect. That you expect. In the rocket. I cranked up the speed for the last bit there so you can see it got a little from a matte finish to it. Slow you get the shiny finish, fast you get the matte finish. So, I plan to use this filament to print a supersized version of the Wish. So you can expect that soon too. Well, not soon, I got a, a bunch of other very long prints ahead of this, but this will eventually get supersized. I, I love this print. That's it. That's today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, if you have a CR-10 or a TiVo Tornado or anything else that can do a 300 by 300 build plate with a 3 to 400 millimeter tall volume, uh, this might print on a CR-10 Mini. Maybe. I'll have to check it out. This, this might print on the CR-10 Mini. I'll confirm that in the show notes, whether it'll print on a CR-10 Mini. But it'll definitely print on the CR-10 um, or any other 30 by 30 printer. Um, you guys have a great day. And thank you, Ken Man, for making this. This is very cool.